you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. My name is Sister Susan, and today we're going to do a fun lesson um, called Noah. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the lion. Can you roar like the lion? Roar! Now, your turn. Can you roar? <gasps> You're scaring me! You're roaring pretty good! You could go definitely be a lion. Well, today's story is going to be about Noah and the ark. Noah was a man a long time ago, and he really loved God so much. And Jesus told him, go build a big boat. But we don't, they didn't call it a boat back then. They called it a big ark. And this ark was going to hold all the people that was that love God. And guess what else was on that boat? The boat was also had the animals, two animals each. And Noah kept telling everyone, repent and love God and stop doing bad and naughty things. But they didn't listen to Noah. So only two each of every animal went into the boat and was saved and only Noah's family was saved. Do you know why? Because Noah's family loved God with all their heart. And so that's how we have all these animals around, running around. What's your favorite animal? So today we learned that you have to love Jesus with all your heart and be obedient to him. And God's gonna save you. Just like he saved Noah and his family and he put them safe on that ark. And when the rains came down and the floods came up, Noah and his family was safe in that boat, right along with all the animals. There were monkeys on that ark and there were giraffes and there were kangaroos jumping around all over the place. And at the end of the 40 days and 40 nights after it rained, Noah said, I wonder if it stopped raining. So he sent out a dove. And the dove brought back an olive branch and said, oh, it's time to go out and start a new life. And God gave a covenant that he'll never send them rain and the floods again. And do you know what that covenant is? A beautiful rainbow in the sky. So, boys and girls, I hope you can be just like Noah. Okay? Now, we're going to do a great arts and craft. We're going to do a lion. And it's really simple. All you need is a paper plate. Ask mom for a paper plate. And a marker. And a yellow crayon. And an orange crayon. So you have a yellow and orange, a marker, and a paper plate. So what you're gonna do, boys and girls, you're gonna do go right in the middle, and you're going to do an upside down um, triangle. Can you do an upside down triangle? And then you're gonna color that in. And then you're going to do a J. Do you, do you know your letter J? And then you're gonna do a backwards J. Do you see his mouth? Now you're gonna do lion eyes. 
And there you have it. You have your lion. So now, boys and girls, what we need you to do is color in the middle yellow, and then you color outside orange. And then you have this beautiful lion. Okay, ask your mom. I wanna see all of your strong lions. Ask your mom and your dad or whoever, or your brother or sister, to post your pictures on Facebook so that all of us at Liberty Bible Fellowship Church could see your strong lions. God bless and I love you. Can't wait to see you in church again.